This guy is an NPC. He's willing to risk it all. His entire job, his only source of income, just for some pussy. Well, my favorite subreddit, dating advice for men. And I saw this post and I couldn't help but relate. It's from Sensitive Season 46. And he's interested in a co-worker. I've been there. Fun fact about myself, my current girlfriend, who I absolutely love and will one day marry and have children with, I met her through work. She was a co-worker. So, should you fuck your co-workers? Should you date your co-workers? We'll discuss it. We'll discuss it, okay? So, I am 25 male and am interested in someone who recently got hired at the same company I work for. Her and I briefly met before. She used to work at another company that my job does business with. We have talked about her being interested in transferring to the company I work for. And then just made some small talk and stuff like that. It was a pretty short conversation, but we shared some stories and jokes. And overall, it seemed like we hit it off. Now she got hired at the same company I work for. But she works the opposite shift as me. So I haven't seen her at work yet and probably won't, won't run into her. I only know she got hired because I saw her name pop up on the schedule. We ended up adding each other on a few social medias. And now we have liked each other's posts, pictures. I really like to message her just to see where things go. I wanted to send her a message congratulating her on getting a job, but it's been a few weeks since she's been hired and since we added each other on social media. So I feel like I might have missed the chance and it'd be weird to send it now. If anyone has any input or ideas for a good conversation starter, I really appreciate it. I don't want to send her just a plain old hey and then not really lead to a conversation because at the end of the day, we are co-workers now and I don't want it to be weird. Well, before I read the comments... I do want to say that should should you fuck your coworker? It depends. Okay, it really does. I will be a contradiction asshole if I told you, you there's no circumstance whatsoever that you should fuck a coworker. I have heard plenty of other guys in a similar space as me say things like this. And honestly, sorry, brother, I disagree. I think it's okay to fuck a couple coworkers. Only if you don't work the same shift. I think that's the only caveat I have to give. If you guys don't work the same shift, no big deal. Okay, that's how I feel. My girlfriend and I, we had the same job, but we worked different shifts. So to be honest, I was kind of playing it risky as well, but it worked out for the better. So I will be, I wouldn't feel right telling you don't go for it. If you guys don't work the same shift, by all means, go for it. Now, there are a lot of guys out there who work the same shift as women and are desperately trying to fuck them. And I think this is a huge, huge mistake because what is the good thing about maybe being able to hook up with this girl? You get some pussy. Maybe you get a girlfriend that you hang out with for a little bit. That's about it, bro. That really is the only benefits of dating somebody who you work with on a consistent basis. Now, what are the downsides of dating a coworker? Well... Things go sour, she will talk about you to other co-workers. Everybody at your job would know some things about you that you really don't want them to know. Hell, if she really dislikes you, she might straight up get you fired. Think about that for a second. Think about losing your job. Think about losing the main source of your income. Think about losing the way you provide for people, the way you put food on the table just because you wanted some pussy. That is a possibility, a real possibility if you put yourself in that type of situation. So nine times out of 10, you shouldn't fuck the coworker. But the one exception, if you guys work different shifts, I think that is one exception that I have to agree with. I have to agree with it. Honestly, if I didn't know my girlfriend, if me and her never got together, I probably would disagree with it. If I'm being honest with you, bro, because the, the downside to dealing with such... A fucked up situation where everybody at your job know you used to fuck this girl. And now because you maybe did this girl dirty or she did you dirty, you constantly have to deal with that awkward energy every time you clock in at your job. That is hard to deal with, bro. Not Most guys aren't built for that. So if you guys work different shifts, consider it. But nine times out of ten, don't fuck your coworker. Let's find out what some of these guys in the comment section have to say. Not too many comments. This one's from Comfortable Youth 463 and he said, "No advice unfortunately because I can't even help myself. 
but hopefully she likes you as much as you like her. Oh, I know where this is going. I'm currently going through severe heartbreak and depression over this girl that I worked with. Oh, my God. It started off for her inviting me to do some activities one-on-one. -on -one. She approached me. But I feel like I'm in the friend zone because she shuts me down every time I try to flirt. I broke up with my ex five years ago. So since I haven't really been talking to women unless it's business related. She came into my life and ruined my peace. Jesus Christ. She came into my life and ruined my peace. What a what a sentence. What a what a heavy, relatable, dark, sad, but very powerful sentence. We've been texting each other for two months now. Went on walks, had deep conversations. But as of now, she texts me several hours late. We'll be going to a rage room soon Monday, me and her. So I think I want to ask her if she's already seeing somebody else. I wanted to share this because this is literally unhealthy. He's not wrong. Thinking about somebody from sunrise to sunset that probably doesn't even feel the same way about you. Dreaming about them. I'm not a guy that has multiple women, let alone any. If she is talking to someone, I'm going to be even more fucked up in the head. Thanks for listening to my rant and good luck with your situation. I really, I really want to talk about what this guy has to say because so many guys, so many NPCs, including myself when I was in high school, especially, this is, this was my reality. I would obsess over women who didn't really give a fuck about me. Women who honestly probably didn't even know I liked them because on the back of their fucking mind, I was such a, a out there possibility, somebody they wouldn't even consider. But to me, they was my life. I, dream, I had dreams about them. I hoped that they were single. I wanted to ask them out but was afraid. This mindset, this is unhealthy by all means. This is the classic NPC mindset that you make this girl your life. So many guys do this. Don't ever find yourself in that position. I know it's hard to not do this. I know it's hard to not obsess over the girl who you think is perfect, who you think will make your life better. But I promise you, she won't. Even when you get the dream girl, you realize that all of that good shit you thought about, those were your dreams. Those are going to stay dreams, okay? Because reality hits, that shit isn't as fun. That girl isn't as cool as you thought she was. She isn't as pretty as you thought she was. She isn't as thoughtful as you thought she was. She doesn't support or care about your dreams like you hoped for. This girl, most of the girls you talk to, most of the girls you end up dating, Honestly, don't give a fuck about you. Most girls are here for a good time, not a long time. You, though, you plan on living for a long time, right? You plan on going through life, having a family, having a good job, making decent money, accomplishing your dreams, right? The only person who's going to be with you from the day you was born to the day you die is you, brother. So focus on yourself, as cliche as it sounds, and I hate the phrase focus on yourself. But you need to make yourself better. You need to focus on self-improvement. You need to focus on becoming a better man. Becoming a Chad. I'm sorry for going on such an almost unrelated rant, but this really struck a chord with me. Because so many guys out there are stuck in this loop of, I like this girl. Maybe she likes me. Oh, she doesn't. Next girl. I like her. Maybe she likes me. Oh, she doesn't. Next girl. I like her. Maybe she likes me. Oh, she doesn't. Don't put yourself in that situation, bro. Chats, we don't go through that. I can't remember I liked the girl and it turned out she didn't have feelings for me. I don't pit myself in that situation. Chads don't deal with that, okay? We tolerate people. They like us. That's the situation you need to pitch yourself in, okay? Don't be an NPC. Be a Chad. Be the guy who walks in the room and commands respect. Be the guy who doesn't mind fucking a coworker either. And don't forget, when you was a kid, Chad took your lunch. Now as a man, he takes your bitch. Love you, brother. See you in the next video.